Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Shamir Shell Project. Wow, last week I was in the high peaks. This week I am in the Chiltern Hills. This is going to be amazing. It is a frigid day, but it is autumn, so I can't really complain or say anything about this beautiful weather that hopefully we will have today. Anyway, I'm guiding a group today and it is a Sunday and it is round about 12.5, 13 miles. It's going to be fabulous. Lots of hills, lots of beautiful forests. But no, good. It's funny because um, so we're off. My compadre, yay! Ram, another trek. A few more people, compadres. Shut up. Hello. This one who likes to say "shut up" yes. in the back. Morning. <laughs> Morning, everybody. <laughs> Here we are once again, out on a beautiful, beautiful long hike. Okay. And the children hails. Don't mind the real kind of dangerous stuff, but that See that like here, really yeah. different level. Yeah. So we went we went to we went kind of halfway across. Yeah. And then we found a patch where we could actually just kind of walk a little bit. We're already spotting some lovely viewpoints. It's beautiful out. Colours are changing a little bit. You can see from the treetops there. Top of the canopies are changing. Uh down here it's still very green so we're still getting plenty of rain so but we've seen a few viewpoints so we keep climbing up and down on this hike we're gonna see lots of stuff on the 12.5 13 mile hike it's gonna be lovely ice cream van hopefully yes. ice cream van at the end <laughs> quite nice that everyone's paired off or in groups of threes and twos because they've all got their own conversations going but sometimes you pass two people or three in our group and you end up hearing adventure stories which is always great and nature stories talking about oh look at that tree look at this which is really cool because that's exactly what you want people to be inspired by nature through hiking through other adventures in the wilderness you want them to be inspired you want them to be taking on other challenges you want them to be appreciating nature it's wonderful to see people this early in the morning being out here and enjoying especially people of color, Asians, because it's not very often you see that. And if you do, it's mostly women, but it's a good thing that I've been inspiring men to get out off the couch, watch the footy later, record it, and come out hiking, including some of the um, hikers here. The women have inspired some of the men to get out and come hiking because that's what it's about. You know, you can always do anything else later on. So we started quite early in the morning, nine o'clock. Well, not too early, nine o'clock. Um, and we should be done by 2.33. So they've got the rest of the afternoon to do whatever they want. Mm. 
Okay. That's what I'm sorry. Thank you. And um, thank you. You're welcome. Beaches, bitch. It's called beaches. The beaches. The beaches. <laughs> thank you. Welcome. What's that? This view. I saw the view, mate. I just want to get it. I love these little kind of devices. So my bag's got the comforts and all of those things. I mean, I'll go ahead and give us a series of views. Oh, I've got my overnight. Yeah, it's kind of like a sea. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll take it back. What's that? Huh? Tell it to the camera. Take yeah, it back. I'll take that. I'll take that comment back, mate. I'd rather walk in these trails where you see the view. Yeah. Rather than just the forest and nothing around you. So, yeah. Hats yeah. off, mate. Well done. Lovely. Always listen to the guy who knows what he's talking about. Yes. We like to do a mixed yes. batch of uh, nature because it helps you appreciate this once you're out of the forest. Yeah. Where's the sunshine now? Ah, well, give it another hour. Yeah. We should have some sunshine. Well, are we going up that hill? Beautiful view. Oh, I love approaches like this. And this is why you want to come hiking with me and these lot here <laughs> this is why you want to come hiking for the views windmill Beautiful, isn't it? It's a pine wood. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The sun's come out. It's broken through the clouds. It's gorgeous. We've got a stunning ancient woodland right beside us, which we're going to go through part of it here. But the wind is also picked up, which it was going to round about, I think it's uh, between one and two o'clock, but it's not too bad because we've got plenty of cover. Look at this beautiful woodland. Further down deep inside, it's more ancient than here in the front. It's younger here, but very cool. Morning. So, uh, I think we're nearly halfway there on the 12.5 mile hike in the Chilton Hills. We're in the North Chilterns and uh, it's just a glorious area, beautiful place. And I'm so glad the weather has held up. It did say 40, 50% chance of rain, but I don't think it's going to, the sun's broken through, the clouds are clearing. So I think this is going to be a fabulous day by the time we're done. It already feels great. We've done some big hills, uh, some open fields, open meadows, beautiful woodlands, a beautiful pine forest. Um, Oh yeah, it's lovely, lovely. 
you should get out here with me check out shamirshah.com for all upcoming guided trips and if you would like to go with your own personal private group then by all means contact me uh, under the private hiking and uh, come along we'll work something out the day you want the group size you want where you want to go what you want to avoid but it's absolutely glorious so Cinderella when she's kind of bored with that goes and jumps in that car <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Proper. I told you it was a Lambo. Yeah. And, it, and it changes colour. Yeah. It's bullshit. Yeah, no, when it rings, it does. Whoa. <sighs> sort of hikes I guide. You see horse and carriage, Cinderella carriage and a one-off Lamborghinis which changes colour in the weather. Whether it's rain, sunshine, oh man, what am I talking about? <laughs> anyway, we're stopping here at Ashridge House for uh, the rookery for um, people want a little uh, wee break and maybe a coffee still got about five miles to go so uh all in all it's been lovely where is everyone ah. it looks like a tunnel yeah no it is a well oh it's a, it's a well Don't get my pretty, Rob. hold on hold on mate whoa it's a tunnel yeah, deep, deep excavation tunnel. So it goes in pretty deep. You can see it just keeps going. <laughs> deep excavation tunnel. There's a Rambo in there, Rambo. I thought it was a well, but it's obviously goes deeper into the. And no, and and through there's a tunnel going through. Yeah, you know what? It's probably a bunker. It's probably a bunker for the previous mansion house owners. Because that's affecting my sleep now. And how are you going to do that? Yeah. Trying some lavender spray and stuff. Yeah. And then I'm trying to kind of lift my head up a bit more from the pillow. Yeah, yeah. You know, rather than a flat pillow. Yeah. Use a more elevated pillow and stuff like that. Trying some different methods. To see if it works. See, yeah. Well, that's the only thing you can do, really, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wow, this is incredible. What a beautiful place. And no, I've never been in this part of the Chilterns. It's so big, the Chilterns. So many trails, so many woods, so many forests, so many hills. I've not been in this section, but it's absolutely stunning. Look at that. We're surrounded by a mix wood with lots of 
ancient trees deep inside you can see how big they are just incredible wow just wow yeah in case you're wondering i have not done every trail in the chilterns although i'm here a lot uh, i have done parts of this route but this section no look at that look at that deep in there Whew. well that's it folks group hike is now complete it was beautiful once again quite long um, upon finishing we measured around about 12.5 miles which was something that I estimated when drawing and plotting out the map on uh, on a paper map so I estimated about 12.5 and it was exactly 12.5 brilliant great great hike we got beautiful weather a bit of sunshine a bit of cloudy weather a bit of a breeze not too bad at all uh, no rain no rain and uh, some fantastic viewpoints glorious forests and woods I mean some of these woods I haven't even been to myself but this one particular forest we went through which was stunning if you were there in person that's the only way you would get to know what it was like and what I was experiencing while there and what my clients the other hikers were experiencing while there it was fabulous so guys this is the end of it hope you like the video if you're not a subscriber and you got to the end of it then please go ahead and subscribe the channel works on support of that type so it's all about subscribing engaging in the videos and um, you know liking what you like and joining me at some point go over to my website have a look it's www.shamirshah.com plenty of public hiking opportunities the hikers club uh, backpacking events all kinds of things so go have a look if you enjoy what you see on there and would like to join me one time then join me sign up it's easy as that and i will see you on the next video